Welcome to this week's Paper Tray Ink Make It Monday video. I'm Lizzie Jones, and this week we're going to be talking about embellishing pre-printed papers for a more custom look on your projects. Okay, so we're going to start to draw some of the mint julep paper. And uh, this is the mint julep plus white uh, paper collection. So it's exactly that. It's a mint julep, or a color, um, plus just plain white. And this pa pattern paper really lends itself well to um, today's technique. So I'm going to take um, a little patterned polka dot. This is from um, the Polka Dot Basics 3 collection. And uh, we're just going to um, start by filling in some of these dots. Um, I'm going to do it randomly. But the whole idea here is that um, we're just dressing up the pattern paper a little bit. We don't want necessarily to always be using um, monochromatic papers. And so this is just a fun way to add a little color. But you can also do this on other styles of paper as well. Um, really the idea is just to dress it up a little. So you can add, um, say, a pinstripe to your ginghams and make it more of a plaid. Or you could um, add extra confetti dots to one of the confetti papers. or you could add um, sort of more interesting stripes to the um, uh, the the uh, striped papers in this same collection, the same style of paper. Um, really, you can go all sorts of different ways with this. But today we're going to go with the polka dots. I'm using um, Harvest Gold and Hibiscus Burst and Hawaiian Shores inks today. Sort of a fun rainbow almost. Now that I'm done with the Harvest Gold, I'm going to continue with the two other colors. So there we have the finished um, panel of patterned paper. Notice I just stamped a handful of dots randomly, so it's just a pop of color. It doesn't get overwhelming that way. Um, but for now we're going to set this aside just for a minute. Next, we're going to sponge um, some Hibiscus Burst ink onto this lovely lady piece of cardstock that eventually I'm going to die cut it, um, die cut a sentiment from it. In fact, I have that, I have that die right here. And so we just want there to be a little bit of a gradient. Um, darker towards the bottom, lighter towards the top. So I just have the die here to give me a hand making sure that I'm getting um, the color coverage that I want. So, just ink up, tap off, and start off the page. Even though I'm going to be die cutting from this, I still don't want to um, start on the page and risk getting lines. I might be able to avoid them when I die cut, but why tempt fate? Okay. Okay, now I have my sponging done. I have my stamping done, and I'm going to go do a little bit of die cutting, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back with um, my patterned paper panel that I've die cut with 
the um, Sentiment Splits Vertical Angled Die. And then I have uh, my word here, the Hello, the Sentiment that was die cut with the noted die. And um, we're going to eventually get this pattern paper mounted onto a white card base. But first, we're just going to place the pattern paper so I can stamp the companion sentiment also from the noted set. So we just want that to sit right on top there. Ink this up with some smoky shadow. And I'm going to stamp right here. There we go. Now it's time to add the elements all together. So I'm going to add foam tape to the backs of these and the back of the word die. Okay, so all of my pieces have um, foam tape on the back now. I'm very liberal with the foam tape to make sure that big panels like this don't pinch and bend in the mail. Um, so let's go ahead and get these attached. Okay, um, now that I'm looking at it, um, after all my stamping's done, it still feels a little bit flat. So I'm going to dress up the pattern paper even more with a little bit of glitter. And this is the fun of um, customizing pattern paper in this way. You can um, really add your own touch to it um, as you go, as, you, uh, as you're creating. You can sort of feel it out and decide if it still needs a little something. So I'm going to do this in the same way I did the dots. Um, I'm going to just do it randomly. So here we go. I'm just going to draw on the circle, draw and fill in the circles, and then sprinkle on the glitter. It's as simple as that, but I really think it'll add a fun, um, playful touch. All right, everybody's everybody's glittered here. We're gonna go ahead and tap off the excess glitter. All right, let's put that aside and let's get finished up. So now the hello needs to attach to the card front. Okay, and one last detail. We're going to tie some baker's twine around the front here in a bow. Something about <clears throat> bright and cheerful spring colors always makes me think of bows. So we're going to go with it. So there you go. We took pattern paper that started out like this, just uh, a little bit of mint and white and turned it into a sparkly, more playful, cheerful sort of pattern. Both are great, um, but this one's just a little more custom to our project. So I hope you will look through your pattern paper collection um, and play along this week. Just find something that you can add um, your own twist on. Add a little bit of color or glitter or glossy accents um, and just have fun with it. Thank you so much for joining me today. This has been Lizzie Jones with this week's Paper Tray Ink Make It Monday. 
Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye. Now it's your turn. Head over to Nicole Hetty's blog to link up your project for your chance to win a gift certificate to the Paper Train Inc. store. I can't wait to see what you create.